Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be breaking down step-by-step -step how to add products to your Shopify store. And I'll be getting into how to create product collections and how to organize and display some of your product categories. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, to get started, you're gonna to wanna to open Shopify. Then you're gonna click products. This is where you'll be able to view your active, draft, and archived products. Here, you'll also have the option to search for products. Here, I'm gonna click add product. And this will take you to a page where you can start filling in your product information. And you wanna make sure that the status of your product is set to active. This way, it will appear in your online store. If this is just gonna be a test product, you can set it to draft. Then to create a product collection, here you'll be able to click this collections tab. And this is where you'll be able to create a new collection and you can also search for any particular product collections. I'm gonna go here back to products and I'm gonna go ahead and click add product. Here's where you can type in your product title. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the product description. You can use AI tools like ChatGPT to help you write your product descriptions. You can select specific text and you can make the text sizes larger or smaller. You can also select specific text and when you click this link icon, this is where you can link it to an external website or you can link it to another page within your website. If you want, you can also insert pictures throughout the product description by clicking this insert image icon. Feel free to resize the picture to make it smaller or larger. Then I'll be selecting the text and the image and I'm going to be centering this. Here under media is where you can upload any pictures and videos that you have of your product. When you click on a specific picture, you can rearrange it if you need. Then here's where you can select the category of your product. Here's where you can insert the pricing. Then you can insert your cost per item, and this will calculate your profit and your margin. Here, this is where you can insert the amount of inventory you have in stock. Then you can enter the weight of the item. Here under variance is where I'm gonna be listing the color and the size options. All right, so here's an example of how to list the sizing options. Then you're gonna click add another option to list another variant option. I'm gonna group this by the color. And right here, when you click this image icon, this is where you can upload pictures to represent each of the variants. I'm gonna be uploading pictures to represent these three variants. And I recommend uploading brand new pictures to represent the variants. So instead of using these ones that are currently listed, you're gonna click add image and upload a brand new one. Then you're gonna click each of these dropdowns. And this is where you can type in how much inventory you have of each exact color in each size. Then here's where you can type in the product type. You can list yourself as a vendor or you can type in the vendor of the product. Then this is where you can add tags for your product. You want to type in tags for your product. This way when customers are shopping on your store, when they go to search for a product, this particular product will be recommended to them based on their search terms and matching some of the tags you've put in. Once you're done, you're gonna click collections. Then I'm gonna click create collection. Here you can title the collection and you can also write a little mini description if you would like. Then here under products, when you click browse, this is where you'll be able to select the products you would like to add to this collection. Then you're gonna go ahead and open your main Shopify website. And this is where you'll be able to start displaying your products. Here at the top of the website, I've inserted two collection list sections. And this is where you'll be able to display each of your product collections. You can open this product that you just added, and here is going to be the display of the product. To insert a collection list, here you're going to click add section, then you're going to select collection list. Under number of columns on desktop, I'll be displaying five collections. Then when you click on one of these collection boxes, this is where you'll have the option to feature each of your product collections. And when you click on this collection list box, this is where you can play around with the display of the pictures. This is how I went ahead and designed the collection list. And when customers click on one of these collections, when you click on the product grid, this is where you'll have the option to customize the display of the grid. For an example, you can enable the quick add button under the products. You can enable filtering and you can enable sorting. And there are also a couple other customization options that you can add for this page. By the way, if you are interested in this website I've designed, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I've put together this pre-made Shopify theme template in a downloadable format. This is perfect for if you're looking to save time from designing your website from scratch and for if you want your website to have that professional style and layout. I have many different Shopify theme templates for many types of businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup products, and I also have some for dropshipping and home decor businesses. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that theme file into your store. You have many different editing options to change the color 
pictures, a tag, and to add your pictures and products. And again, I have many different types for many different businesses. A lot of my website bundles also include logo templates, web banner templates, and more. I will link those in my description box below. Also, if you're marketing your business on Instagram, I do have some Instagram post templates available on my website. These can give your brand's Instagram feed a stylish touch, and they are adaptable to fit many different businesses. I will link those in my description box as well. The next thing you can do to display your products here on the homepage of your website is to include a couple featured collection sections. Here's an example of two featured collections I've added to the homepage. And to do this here, you're just gonna click add section. And this is where you can insert a featured collection. This is where you'll have the option to feature whichever product collections you would like. You'll want to enable the view all button. This way, if this collection has more than four products, when customers click view all, it will take them to the full collection. You can also change the style of the button and you'll have a couple other editing options. Including featured collections on the homepage of your website is a great way to push out certain product collections, especially if you have a best-selling product collection or a new arrivals collection. And next, I'll be showing you how to create a custom collections page. This is gonna be perfect for laying out each of your product collections. This way customers can neatly see all the collections you have laid out. You'll notice here on Shopify that you will get a default collections page. This page just simply lays out each of your product collections. A way that you can create a custom collections page will be to open Shopify and click online store, then click pages. You want to make sure this page is set to visible. Then you're gonna open your website and you can link one of the button labels to that new page. Then you're gonna open up that page, and right here, you're gonna click Pages, then click Create Template. I'm gonna title this Collections Template, then you're gonna open that page again, and right here under Theme Template, I'm gonna set this to the Collections Template. You're gonna open that page in your theme, and this is where you can begin to customize the page. I'm gonna hide this page title section, then here under template, I'm gonna insert a featured collection. And this is where you can just load this page up with the different featured collections to promote each of your product collections. Once you've inserted a featured collection, you can just duplicate this. Then you can just add more of those featured collections to promote all of your products. Another route you can take would be to fill this page with collection lists. So here you can click add section and just insert a collection list. And you can title this section a specific category in your store. Then you can select designated collections that fit this category. For an example, this category is gonna represent all clothing collections. Then I'm gonna duplicate this collection list. And this next section, I'm just gonna be featuring all of the accessory collections. And here's how this page is gonna look once you're finished. This way you're able to section off all your clothing collections from your accessory collections. And another option that you have to display your product collections would be to include a couple mid-roll banners throughout your website. This would just be some image banners that you have to announce or promote those new collections. Here's an example of two mid-roll banners in this website. A way that you can add a mid-roll banner to your website would be to click add section. And here you can insert an image banner section. And here's how the mobile view of this section is going to appear. You can retitle the heading, then you can also adjust the heading size. You can also write a mini description to introduce the collection. Then I'm gonna click on this button label and here I'll be removing the second button label. Then you can title the first button label and here's where you can link it to that new collection. You can also choose to apply the outline button style. When you click on this image banner section, you'll have the option to insert two images and both of these images will display side by side. Here under image overlay opacity is where you can increase the transparency of the picture to make it darker. Then here under banner height is where you can adjust the size of the banner. So you can make it smaller or you can make it larger to display the images in a larger view. And you'll also have the option to remove or to show the container on desktop. And here's how the mobile layout of this section is going to appear. It may default each picture to display separately. Here under mobile layout, you can remove the stack images on mobile. This way each picture will display side by side. You can also choose to remove the container on mobile. This way that text and button label may appear over one image or over both images. 
and this is a great way that you can highlight that new collection. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order you'll receive it in a zip file format and here in your Shopify account you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And it has many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.